Settle down, friends. Settle down. We don't want to make the boy nervous. Come on over, son. SpongeBob, you have done extremely well in your lessons. <laughs> Why, I could not be prouder of you if you were my own boy. But you do have to finish your exams, I'm afraid, before I can give you your license to drive. Do you think you're ready? I don't know if I'm ready, Mr. Scales, but I'll do my best. Fantastic, SpongeBob. What kind of authority do you have to give me a license anyways? Has anyone brought that into question? Oh, jeez. Okay, we have one for each. I'll take it. it makes sense. And you still get grades on these. Okay. And I guess you could choose your vote entirely. Destruction. This one again. Being hardy actually seems like a good idea here. So it's sad. I kept seeing Sandy with that one. So there's a little bit more to the game. I imagine that's the last of it after this. Here's some more things there are to unlock. I think most things you just unlock by getting a certain number of points. I believe the game lets you see the unlock criteria for everything anyway, so we can look afterwards. And if it's easy to unlock anything I don't have yet after I finish this, we can go back and unlock them, I suppose. Yep, just get the most parts. I hope you're ready. Three, two, one, go! Pretty simple arena this time, too. Hi, fish. It's weird that we've got the invisible boat wheel for... for a single level. I suspect that we will... I suspect that that's a... is that for... yeah I believe that's a, a vehicle that I can select and keep using. Just happened... just haven't uh, happened to come across wherever else. I haven't found it in the menu yet because I haven't looked. Come on. I hate the most of all that you can actually literally drive through these parts sometimes. <laughs> it feels really random as to actually gets parts. Any even point, right? Jeez, guys, what are you doing over here? I don't know where Crab is, so it's a little hard to single out. There we go. No, that was sort of what you're supposed to do, SpongeBob, don't you worry. And also, you get to do the same in Patrick. Oh, Patrick's in the sub, so that's funny. So the character actually is inside of the sub. So you only get to see them until... There you go. Uh, I don't think they're completely covered inside the sub, but they're at least partly in it, so you get to see them inside the sub afterwards. Jeez, dude. Is that a good thing? Oh, dialogue. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Try me. Come on. Come on. Crap, these things don't drive quickly backwards. Turbo does nothing when you're going backwards in this particular vehicle. Why are you going backwards? You're leaning with the most damage at end. You are. 
I'm somehow stuck. Something happened there, interesting. for this guy to win, so this is just a bit of a waste of time now. There we go. That A is atrocious. Thank you. Lagoon level. Thank you, Patrick. Okay. That went surprisingly smoothly. Probably just a stroke of luck, but I'll take it. Get points. Uh, I should probably try to survive to some degree then. I think Cruiser's a pretty good choice in that case. Where is the invisible boat with the old water taxi? Is invisible boat? I thought the invisible boat meal, meal was selectable somewhere. I don't see it though. Unless you don't actually have access to every boat class here? No, it doesn't say which. It doesn't place any restriction on the boats. I don't know. It would be weird if you only had the one level to use that particular vehicle. No, we can use the hardier one, I guess. Too unreasonable, I don't think. The question is whether... Well, I'll still have a... So what's probably going to happen is I'm probably going to finish this game fairly quickly the next time I play it, which means we'll have, like, two episodes or something next week. And then nothing else for the rest of that week. Which will be a little weird, but oh well. I don't really want to spend extra time playing this today because I have things to do. So I don't want to... Spend extra time finishing this. Also, by the way, that's the ice cream stand from the SpongeBob movie. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez, this is an interesting one. Is this new music? So it's actually a bit harder to get combos here, I feel like. Of course, the on being so easy to knock out, it's actually... This is very different music. With it being so easy to knock people out, this might actually end relatively quickly. Yeah, fire. Of course, I don't want to take too much risk and try to knock anyone down into that uh, pit in the middle anyways. I have no real benefit. Can I get a multiplier if I knock someone? Knock someone out? But I don't think it really much matters in this case because I can't get many sizable combos anyways. Multipliers only matter if you have a decent combo to begin with. No. No, I refuse. <laughs> Darn it. I hope you're ready. Three, two, one, go. Why do you get all the points from the rehab for? I don't really know I don't know what gives you I don't know how points are calculated for arena. So I kept getting points somehow. That's an interesting thing. I thought it would give me a multiplier if I, not, if I got a ring out, but no. So, knocking someone out through damage, the tower storm. Knocking someone out with damage, disabling someone is something that gives you a multiplier, but otherwise, a ring out actually just gives you flat points. I don't know what determines how many points you get. Yeah, 
tent anyway. Here, Chris, Chris, Chris. Jeez. It is really hard. Everyone's so careful here because of how hazardous the terrain is. I got a good start last time, too, because of that ring out of darn it. Ah. I got a double team there. Some air time at the end there. I didn't even get credit for knocking someone into the pit that time, which I feel like I was partly responsible for making happen. That's a very good question, Patrick. Seriously, what is with this music being so different than everything else? It's kind of weird. Yeah. It doesn't really sound in line with the rest of the soundtrack either. <laughs> hmm. I feel like surviving will actually do take me pretty far towards getting the best score here. I'll let you know the case on these. Grinding? There we go. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that was absolutely a wall check. Okay. But the thing to compete against here is what really gets someone points is knocking. If you manage to get a combo somehow, that's one thing, but that's really difficult. So the other thing to do is to actually knock someone into the pit, which is, I think, the main source of points, because everyone who manages to get, like, 300 points is someone who's managed at some point knock someone into the pit. So look, I managed to get a 2 times multiply for 18 points. Wonderful. It's not very helpful. Okay, that was a pretty smooth transition to going in reverse there. Jeez. This one's not really going anywhere that favorable for me. I'm just having to survive survived so far. There's so little happening, it's actually just really difficult to get points. Unless I can manage to knock someone into the pit and get a bunch of points for that. Jeez. I wish I was average. Like you. <laughs> that was uh, some, some dialogue there, Patrick. I like to imagine him saying that with the face that you can see him having on screen right now. No, I wanted to do that. And that's the thing, I think I just need to start by knocking someone off into the pit. Three, two, if I can do that, I'll just start with a large number of points. I did not get credit for that, though. I'll just start a race that way, or start a... around that way, and then... Not as the person that gets knocked in. And that'll set me up basically for the whole thing. Because last time that gave me like 300 something points. And my opponents only get up to like 400 points maximum. Hey, if I manage to get some kind of like multiplier, all the better. I get that ring out. Nope, oh, whatever. So as long as I don't fall into the pit myself, that should probably be everything I need.
So I disagree with what this game does and doesn't consider a wall check, but whatever. We'll see how long that's the case, my dog. Gonna play that dangerous game here, but most tempting. Getting crabs on the edge like that. Hello. I suspect we're gonna do the same thing with the AI kind of cheating if I manage to get knocked out partway through. Okay, so right now, for instance, I imagine I'm gonna end up getting like fourth. Not really. I guess I'll have to see what I can do next time. Hey everyone, we do have one more episode, right? No? Oh, come on, this is actually the last episode I recorded today? Then whatever. I want to finish this then. Right, Darn it. It's always annoying realizing that I have one fewer episode to record than I thought. No! Oh, I will take credit for Patrick. Yes! Mm. No. Perhaps I can assist you when you do that again, SpongeBob. All right, here that was actually a pretty decent kill steal. Three, but two, one, not what I needed. Go. Darn it! Basically playing chicken. All right, here we I go. lost decisively. Three. Very hard to I'm with how that's All right, here we go. with how that lip is, it's really hard to knock someone out without falling off yourself. I'm saying knock someone out already. I think it's gonna be hard to Yeah, at that point I I, I can't beat Sandy if she gets a ring out and I don't, essentially. That's over half your score. I feel like all I have to do is just knock someone out and survive. Did I not get credit for knocking someone stolen, I guess? Pretty sure I knocked someone out there in the game to not give me credit for it. <laughs> Darn it. There was not really much I could have done there. I don't know if. Huh, I actually up here in a... Do I start in a different spot each time or something? I didn't realize that. Jeez. Well, I'll manage this at some point. Yeah, every time there's at least one person that falls off at the end, so someone has gotten a ton of points from that. I need to make sure that I'm... Jeez. I need to make sure I'm one of those people who gets that massive 300 point boost in the beginning. If I'm not, I just can't win. Short of a really convenient combo at some point. Duh. And it feels silly that I have to do those, but I don't see how else I'm gonna... I tried to get a wall check there too to get more points. If I can get a wall check and knock someone out at the beginning, then I would just have one essentially. I probably would have won based on however many points got there alone. Even if I just got ringed out immediately afterwards. Stop that. 
Flash goes an issue today. Okay, everyone's going the same direction as me. No. I need to collide with you. small check or anything. I can't get anything. Like, we're, we're working on orders of, like, working on the order of, like, tens of points here. And that's it. Oh, sure. And then there's get Patrick. What? Brain. And then, of course, Patrick gets an insane amount, amount of points after that. Yeah, I absolutely should have gone clever knock someone under that time. Not that I couldn't in theory knock someone out afterwards, but it never happens. So I don't see any point in trying to get a ring out anytime other than the beginning. Three, two, one, go. Uh I don't like that there seems to basically just be a trick to this level. You know, waiting up. I mean, there's not always an opening to knock anyone off to begin with. It's all a matter of what your opponents do. Okay, whoops, this guy did not actually... There you go, I actually still not got a ring out that time. By tapping this one right away. Ah. Place here. And also, I was the only person to get a ring out at the beginning, which will help. Not to say nobody else will get any others later on, but it helps. So, again, helping against certain issues like the AI mysteriously getting almost a thousand more points between me getting ringed out and the In the round ending, but it's a happy start for me. Okay, airtime I'll take it, I guess. It's also I can't get any kind of multiplier or anything either, because you just can't there's not much you can do most of the time to get people to hit the walls. And even if you do, of course, it doesn't help much. With anything. I guess someone managed to get, yeah. Everyone else managed to get a bunch more points in, in the meantime, naturally. Uh. Oh, come on. How is it out of all of that? I'm the only person to get knocked off. That's fine too, even though it's extraordinarily rare. Almost got good right there, but only very, very almost. I feel like I should have gone some kind of multiplier for everything I just did. There's a wall check. Thank you. So far this time we're actually going entirely off of a more honest nobody gets ring outs sort of sort of thing. Stop 
so if you can just take out the gimmick entirely, I'm fine with that. No. Yeah, I need to not have my front get totally destroyed too, though. And it's something to survive too, it's, it's, it's not like I have a ton more points than everyone else, you know, like I got a good combo at one point. Good is a little bit of a strong word for that too. Near is not in front of you. Okay, I didn't expect someone to just roll straight through the back part of my car there. I guess my mind just needs to wait for everyone to eliminate each other, because otherwise... Can you wonder to what degree I can just do that sometimes? Okay, so try to set, try to push someone inside that way. That's a function of how heavy my vehicle is compared to the rest, which everyone seems to have fairly heavy cars right now. No, this is just like stock car racing. So the thing is, Right now, everyone's... So essentially, me being alive right now is just keeping everybody honest. Like, you're still doing damage to each other and taking damage and all that. What's really happening is that the game has to actually... Has to actually... Oh, come on. Simulate everything. Whereas, if I lose, all of a sudden, whoops, Mr. Krabs has just seven more points than me. Magically. That time was nice because it was actually no no ring outs, no, none of that. It was all honest. It wasn't, the whole thing wasn't predicated on a trick. Whereas now it is. I just have to guess where my opponents are going to go. If my opponents turn the same way as me, then there's not much I can do. Fortunately, there's nobody else trying to get a combo off of right now. Because what would really set me up for success would be getting a ring out and then uh, some kind of combo after that. I get credit for a wall check in the look. So I can actually get multiplayer. See, I'm getting a combo right now, but it doesn't even matter if it's a combo, because I don't get any multiplier at any point. It's really hard to get a wall check here for some reason. Scooter down there right now. So I just have to avoid that. I guess we're living backwards today. Nice temporarily. This thing has not turned much. Jeez. Get 
not so much in the way of points, again, but... Oh, are you kidding? And I, I doubt the game cares that I was in the lead right there, because somehow Squidward gets a heck of a lot more points. Alright, this is probably going to have to be the last one, because I don't have much more time after this. some kind of combo. That's all I would have to do at the beginning. I just managed to double my points at the beginning. There! I have no idea how hard I was pressing the one button just then. And that alone would just give me the entire... Yeah. Entire derby. From the very beginning. But that's my issue with this. It's that one, the AI cheats if I get knocked out, and then two, jeez, what happened to Patrick? That's gonna be hard for me to beat. And two, one random thing gets extremely highly weighted, and it's a thing that you can do at the very beginning. So the very beginning sets the stage for the entire event. And beyond that, it's just extremely hard to get points at all. It's not like it's just me having difficulty, it's that the AI also gets very few points from much of anything. And the game's just really stingy with getting me wall check credit too, especially here for some reason. Now I'm stuck on, and then, okay, Patrick has over a thousand points, there's nothing I can do. Patrick got three ring outs. I don't know why I'm going to stop this. <laughs> I'm highly dissatisfied. Shut up! All right, here we go. Indeed. Three, two, one. It feels kind of dumb having a video this long that also ends without anything useful. I think I'm going to be in the same position while I do this later, too. Special for having got a ring out there, but okay, everyone got knocked out except I happen to also kind of be in the lead, anyways. So, this is a really weird circumstance. It's kind of one in a million. Stop that. I guess there is a Doppler effect on there, which is amusing. It's really hard to get anyone to hit each other here. I don't know if you can say that while in Squidward. Not in this one, Crash. The best thing for me to do would actually be to just... There's nothing for Grab to do at this point. Even if he managed to turn me, managed to turn me out, actually. Unless the game that she's extremely egregiously and gives him is for absolutely nothing. As, at this point, the thing is... Hi, random parts. As the thing is... If I get knocked out, then the event still ends right then. But he needs to find all the better if he doesn't get credit for it, though. I think is this thing 
this particular vehicle is really bad at going backwards, so there's not much reason for trying to ram him backwards. You know, the rest of my car is fine. There's not really much I can do to usefully hit him while going backwards, because I can't go anywhere near the speed at all backwards. Give the credit of you falling in. Which probably still won't make a difference, because again, the, the race will end, or the event will end as soon as I get knocked out. I'm just seeing what I can do, anyways. Jeez. There's a fire boat. Took me a while. And that's still mostly just from me having, um, watch the replay on that one, actually. I can only see myself. Well, whatever. Alright, whatever. Well, I probably should have actually clicked the save game button, but usually this is the sort of thing that's usually where I came with autosave. And it does autosave if you leave this menu. It's kind of weird. Anyways. So we'll probably finish this up pretty quickly next time. And by that I mean within the next couple episodes. But until then, bye everyone.